we've all had a diary of some kind at some point in our lives. At least this is what I believe. Some of these diaries were purely in the mind, you know, a series of memories that were very secret, things you thought that you would not share with anyone else. And then, of course, there was the written kind, you know, like these ones in front of you here. Um, I must say there's a sort of great advantage to having the written or illustrated kind of diary. It's that the truth is locked into something that will not change. So when you look back at it uh, many years later, you can see exactly what you were thinking, how you were thinking it. And that gives you an opportunity to sort of marvel at... Uh, <laughs> marvel at how far you've grown or what how you've changed you know now on the other hand you have the mental kind of uh, diary those those thoughts and things and i think the danger with them is that because they are not fixed they can be adjusted <laughs> over time and often make us uh, look the hero i mean sometimes we were heroic but sometimes we were downright foolish and i think it's important that uh, you allow the sort of mental diary to be as honest and static as possible because I mean the fun is in looking at looking back at a period in time and seeing how you were and uh, how you are today so that's it uh, on the diary now.